I'm going to try and channel some of the things I'm seeing when I'm out there with the entrepreneurs trying to build the future. There's lots happening, and I guess the conclusion is the world is never going to move this slowly again. But what does that mean if you're trying to create a business that's going to survive this onslaught of transition? How do you create that sense of innovation? I'm going to give you 10 things I'm seeing in the startups from all over the world who are moving with these trends, who are creating this sense of innovation to move as quickly as people's changing behavior. My favorite use case so far of face recognition is this company that sells to churches so that they can know who pretended to be in the congregation on Sunday but wasn't actually there. Geraldine here runs a company called Emulate that is digitizing human organs. A little chip here has a human liver on it so that you can do early stage trials of medicines without yet dealing with the actual human. So many ways of manufacturing, 3D printing, not necessarily needing to be somewhere. There's even a company out of Phoenix, actually, that's making 3D printed cars called Local Motors, crowd designed and then it 3D prints them. It's got bases in places like Berlin now, so you can locally make your product. In the old world, you'd need a factory in Shenzhen. In the new world, like this gentleman, you go onto Kickstarter and other people provide your factory. In Eric's case, the Pebble Watch, $20 million came in because people loved the idea of a smartwatch a couple of years before Apple was talking about it. This is the new world. This is a guy called Lei Jun, based in Beijing. He runs a company called Xiaomi that's often been called as a copycat of Apple. His phones are much cheaper, but often look like Apple. This is what his store looks like. Do you recognize this? Josh Tetrick in San Francisco, somebody I've got to know well, makes non-dairy versions of dairy products. This is the plant-based egg. No chickens were involved in the hatching. In London, only this month, we're opening a huge new biomedical research centre next to King's Cross Station called the Crick Institute, where they've designed it with no walls on the inside. So the chemist will meet the architect, meet the data scientist, will meet the physicist. That is how you get new ideas. If you think about what companies like this are doing, when you get out of the car, how do you pay? You don't actually touch the button to pay. When you sign up, you don't even need to type in your credit card number. They've designed it so you scan it, the machine does all the work. In this video report posted on Wired.com, Miller and his business partner showed how they can exploit the internet-connected infotainment system of a 2014 Jeep Cherokee to take control of the SUV. Why, in a commodified world of HD cameras, is this company so far ahead of rivals? Because it's selling not, we are a camera company, it's selling, well, we've reframed that. We are a company that you share your lifestyle video. You will share your image of skiing into a, an avalanche via your GoPro. That gives it an edge. Don't do this at home, by the way. So I'm gonna leave you with the certainty that unpredicted, New tech is going to take the world by storm, going to change the norm.